Okay, today I'm going to be looking at putting together a Zoom Spot OLED and the Raspberry Pi WH. Um, when you get this uh, the, this kit, okay, it comes with the uh, SD card and it comes with all the bits and pieces you need to do the hardware. But it also comes with this um, C4 um, Labs um, sort of uh, case kit as well. You get a nice card in there from um, from Dustin, um, and you, you also get some instructions. Now, what you need to do, obviously, I'd make yourself a cup of tea, or coffee, whichever you like, and then just basically, really slowly, just work through the stages, okay, until you actually get the the thing assembled. The worst bit about this is actually getting the the paper off the the the, the actual acrylic. Now, when you get this, this has got an elastic band around it, okay? Um, and th it's pretty much in order. So you don't need to do, sort of, you know, read, you know, finding the bits or anything that really. It's in order already. So carefully take the elastic band off and then place it on the, on the table out the way, just upside down. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick from the bottom, okay? You're going to need this little baggie of uh, screws here as well. So we'll get this open, um, and what we'll do is we'll start assembling it, okay, and what you're going to need is you're going to need the four rubber feet, and you're going to need the four long screws. Now they may actually give you some extra bits and pieces in there, I suppose, just in case you lose some. Um, but what you're going to do is you'll see there's a little recess in there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom down for you. Um, I don't know if it'll do it. Let's see if we can get some light on the subject. You'll see that there's just a, a, a little tiny recess in there. Okay, and that is where the screw simply pops in like that. Okay, and you're going to do that four times. So let's zoom back out again. Okay, so you're going to do that four times. Now once you've done that, leave them standing like so, and then you're going to take the bottom level. Okay, and what I like to do is actually get it so that you can read the text, okay, and face that down. All right, so, and then you just push the screws through that bottom layer. Okay, now once you've done that, okay, you'll end up with this little porcupine like so and then you're going to need to look at the instructions and it will tell you the next level and it is this black layer okay and you now got to just peel this bit of paper off and as you can see it's very very tough it's a tough bit of paper um, and you just peel that off like so and you can see there's a, a bow around the front and you simply just put that over the top like so. Now the next section is this um, this sort of C-shaped section. Now I'm not sure if there's actually a bit of plastic on there, it doesn't feel like there is. Um, and that very simply with the bow that goes to the front there like so and then that section just drops on the top. Now at this stage Okay, you, you, you're going to need to put in, there should be another piece just somewhere in here, there it is. There's a piece that you need that is stacked somewhere inside that. Very carefully, in order, just lift the, the pieces and then you can take that this little piece out here. If you can see that. Okay, it's very difficult to see. Now this does actually look like it's got a bit of plastic on it. Um... You have to be a bit careful when peeling this because obviously you don't want to snap it. Some of this stuff is quite fragile. Um, and what you need to do now is obviously observe the um, the, the uh, stages on here. And we're going to be looking for stage five at this point. Okay, and as this goes on, you need to add this piece. 
Uh, this bit is a little bit fiddly. This is the worst bit of the case itself. And then that whole case then just drops over, or the whole board then just drops over, like so. It will go on. So this is a bit fiddly. It wants them, everything wants to move at this stage. Okay, now I'm not going to get too sort of fussy here. I'm just going to leave it just in place. Um, and then you're going to go to obviously stage six. Now this is where this back piece comes in. You've got to see that it's got a bow on there, like so. And then you put that bit around that side. And then you've got two little tiny pieces, okay, which locate. You'll see there's a little cutout in there, okay, and they locate on this loose piece that you've just put on there. And they just drop over like so. Okay, and then they locate that little bit of plastic in the front. And again, just like so. Now, in the next section, okay, we've done um, we've done up to stage six now, that one. We're going to take this thicker piece, like so. We're going to note the bow on the front. And then the thick stage then goes on the top. That's a clear thick stage and this has actually got some some cutouts as well which locate that loose panel which goes on the front okay once that bit's been done you're going to go with the next stage which is a three mil piece and it's got a slot in the back and a rectangular cutout now that piece just goes over the top like so now we are starting to sort of see the the different levels now at this stage you might want to just turn it round um now moving this at the moment is a bit difficult i'll be honest um it looks like it feels like something is wedged underneath there so let's try and let's try and get that to come down Like so, the screws might want to fall out, but that's all right. We just push them back in. Okay. Now then. Now at this point, we're looking for the... Uh, we need this piece here with the, the funny shape. It's got the, the slot out the back and this funny shape part in the front. Um, again, we're going to put it so that the bow goes to the bow. Like so. Um, and now we're looking for the top board so um, we're going to be putting this LED board on the top and that simply locates over the four screws and then very gently just work that down there you go that's better I've got that go on okay just remember don't press on the glass um, now I'm leaving this cover on just for the moment, okay, so that I, I can, um, so I don't actually touch the glass as I'm going. Now that bit's on, and now we've got to put this little piece on, a little thin, complete uh, rectangular uh, part with the bow towards the front or the back, whichever, okay, like so. And now we've got to put this next. Um, bow section on with the little cut out parts now at this sort of stage it starts to get a little more exciting because we've got to start putting the nuts and stuff on and we might need a screwdriver at this stage um, and we've also got to turn this is actually stage 12 and we're going to turn this bit over and it, yep I'm right we do need the nuts so let me grab a screwdriver Now this bit is a bit fiddly because when you when you pick this up all everything just wants to fall out so what I tend to do is try and pinch it together and then just put it on its side and take a crosshead screwdriver just put those in and what we're going to do is we're just going to put them in just loosely for now okay none of this needs to be super duper tight 
we're not putting on Titanic's propeller and we just, we just gently turn that over like so make sure everything's pushed down like so Okay, and now that is pretty much held together and you can just give it just a little wiggle just to settle everything in. This is stage 13. Now stage 14, okay, is this part. This is the, the little open, very wispy, 2mm thick acrylic um, with the open front, okay, and the that open front goes to the bowed edge and that's a relief for the bottom of the OLED screen or the top whichever you like um, now we've got the next uh, section section 15 and you'll notice this has all been coming off in order okay now this one's a little more fragile don't don't um, don't sort of bend this bit because this one is quite thin it's only three mil um, black acrylic and the colored acrylics tend to be a little more uh, brittle um, bowed front towards the front there and that goes over the brass ferrules just very gently just push that down now we're up to the last piece now at this stage we can now take the the red cover or just lift the red tab okay without putting your fingers on the glass because that would be dreadful and obviously there you go just put that to one side now again this is take the, the plastic off or the, the brown paper off it's horrible this stuff the trouble is with acrylic it scratches very easy so when they're putting it on the machine they leave the the, the paper on there just to protect it as they're moving things around now this obviously just drops on the top okay and now you take the four smaller screws okay and they simply just tighten into the top now at this stage again i'm not tightening it up very tight because obviously i want to be able to move things around when the antenna goes on so we're nearly there and then what we'll do is we'll move on to programming the sd card well the when you buy these, the, the, the card's already flashed, but what I'll do is I'll cover it anyway, just in case that you uh, need to uh, flash the card in the future. And then we'll go on to setting up PiStar. Now, what we're looking to do here is just make sure that the uh, SMA connector is central to the hole. Okay, and how you do that is you basically just leave that all just a little bit flexible when you can move that around at the moment. Put the antenna in the hole like so just nip it up again not not so overly tight just give it a little bit of a, a wiggle around and then just gently just nip those up okay and i'm really not doing them up massively tight and that is your zoom spot